Hi friends good morning this is Suvarna Kesha welcoming you all to Suvarna's travel world Today we are in Queenstown in New Zealand and right now we are driving down to visit a very interesting place details of which i'll be giving after we reach the place while enjoying the scenic beauty of the place let's learn more about new zealand new zealand a small island nation home to around 4.5 million people located in the pacific ocean is famous for its national rugby team its indigenous maori culture and its picturesque landscape Queensland is also known as the city of lakes. Wellington is the capital of New Zealand. There is one single name which keeps going on in New Zealand. Number 1 Kiwi Kiwis people of New Zealand are called kiwis Number 2 kiwi Kiwi is the national bird of New Zealand Kiwi is a long beaked flightless bird which can be seen only in New Zealand Number 3 kiwi fruit Kiwi fruit is the national fruit of New Zealand which grows extensively here Hi friends this is Suvarna Kesha welcoming you all to Suvarna Travel World today we have reached New Zealand we are in Queenstown today and just an hour journey from Queenstown we we have what is called the Aro town it is a historical town and there was a gold rush here So this is the museum lakes district museum it is a very popular museum a historical one and so i'll be showing you about the uh, museum also i'll give you a museum tour also this is the main street of aro town one of the most happening uh, streets it's called the buckingham street and uh, it's lined up with uh, various shops so let us take a look at the shop also aro town is a historic gold mining town in the otago region of the south island of new zealand aro town is located on the banks of the aro river there are many well preserved buildings that were used by european and chinese immigrants who settled during the town's gold mining era all the streets and the shops are decked up for the oncoming christmas and this is the christmas tree in one of the shops aro town was established in 1862 during the height of the otago gold rush The settlement grew quickly as pioneers constructed cottages, shops, hotels and churches more than 60 of which can be seen even today. A special highlight is the Chinese settlement at the edge of the river. I need this. Yes, of course. So 2150. Aro town is a charming and quirky delightful gold rush village nestled beside the sparkling Aro river and magnificent peaks. We are in the Buckingham Street now and this is a glimpse of all the colorful shops that line the street.
since its christmas time every shop was loaded with lots and lots of figurines they all looked so colorful and hence i thought even though the video is going to become a little longer i felt i must be showing you these interesting shops friends in fact as a dolls lover they all look so colorful and i wanted to buy everything here i was literally spoiled for choice but for the pricing they were too expensive as we all know new zealand is a very expensive place and hence i could afford to buy only a small santa for christmas friends welcome to the award winning lakes district museum which is set in the historic gold mining town of aru town and it also presents an authentic picture of early life in the wakatipu district The Lake District Museum is in the Buckingham Street of Arrow Town and is one of New Zealand's leading small museums. It portrays pre-European Maori, European settlement and the exciting gold rush era of the mid 1800s. lots of hands-on exhibits that present a picture of early Maori life and pioneering settlers and gold miners are displayed here. These are a sample of the gold nuggets which were mined from the Aro River. The Central Otago Gold Rush was a gold rush that occurred during the 1860s in Central Otago, New Zealand. This was the country's biggest gold strike which led to the rapid influx of foreign miners the number of miners reached its maximum of 18000 in february 1864 these are the local wakatipu rocks the lake district museum is a historic museum which encapsulates the life at that time Jack Tawa, a local shearer, first discovered gold here in 1862. Attempts to keep the discovery a closely guarded secret failed and only a year later there were 1500 miners who camped on the shores of Aro River looking to strike gold. Ponomo is the Maori name of for nephrite or bovenite. Nephrite is the one of the two materials known as jade. The other is jadeite which is not found in New Zealand. Nephrite is essentially a calcium magnesium silicate with varying amounts of iron. It is found within the earth's active crust by heat and immense pressure. 
these pioneer miners quickly built cottages shops churches and hotels after a few years gold became harder to extract and the west coast gold miners which opened in 1865 saw many of the miners leaving the town in search of greener pastures the local economy took a huge hit and this is when chinese miners were invited today aru town is a small little quaint town which is almost stuck in time the friendly locals are passionate about their town's heritage they have depicted the vakati go life in those times here we have a blacksmith at work Here we can see the printing press. Here is a person composing in the press. This is the printing press. And here are the newspapers of Vakatipu during those times. Lake County Press. Here is a butcher and a baker. Batter cake, batter cake, baker's man, bake me a cake as fast as you can. <laughs> Here is a funny lavatory tree. It was dark and as soon as I opened the door, I saw a person. Not real. <laughs> This is the beer barrel. Scotch number 10 whiskey Electricity born of gold 1886 Manual telephone exchange This is the model of the modern day house in New Zealand Let's move on to the music section now. Law and Order Otago Gold Fields. Robbery. Prison. crockery cutlery and household articles used during those times pickle pots The Lake District Museum at Aro Town also had a well equipped bookshop and gift shop.
there was a demonstration as to how gold would be extracted from Arrow River water. Though they charged us to show this, we couldn't spot any gold in this water. Let's now visit the Arrow River at Arrow Town. Though it was a very big river during the time of gold rush, there is hardly any water here now. The big Arrow River has become a small stream now. We need to go down to reach this place. And this is how Arrow River looks like. And we can see some small children trying to find some gold in this water. That was the story of the gold rush in Arrow Town in the 18th century. So this is Suvarna Keshav signing off. Please do like, share and subscribe to Suvarna's Travel World. Hope you have all liked the video. Bye bye friends.